Okay, hello, it's Yon Hode. We're doing a, like a comeback get ready with me. <laughs> Basically, I have two comebacks to set up for. Um, one has already basically come and just about gone. <laughs> and one is gonna be here in, God, like give or take 10, 10 days or so, which is terrifying. So the first one that I'm actually gonna set up for is not ordinary. I am super excited for this. It's actually going to be a new collection. Say hello to N Mix. <laughs> um, what the heck's wrong with me? <laughs> As you guys know, I don't do girl groups. And it's not because they're bad, it's not because, it's just, it's not my like thing. Um, they usually hit with like that bubble gum pop type vibe, and that's not me. And these girls have something different. And I've also been waiting for Lily for years. <laughs> I've been waiting for Lily to come back forever. Forever. Like, girl, thank you. Thank you for joining the team again. So, this is a seven-membered girl group. UAP decided after, what, three years that he's gonna drop another girl group. Um, the leader is Heiwan. She's not the oldest. Lily's the oldest. Um, but there is Heiwan, Lily, Seliyun, Jinny, Bei, Jiwoo, and Kyujin. I think I'm kind of stuck between Kyujin and Lily. They both get to me a little bit. <laughs> so I'm also kind of leaning towards Bay. I don't know. I still have yet to pick a full blown bias. Um, but I do have pob claims already, and I did pick a pob for each uh, Lily and Kyujin, just because I was like, I don't know. I'll take both. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so if you don't already know, they dropped their debut first single, um, which actually had two songs. Um, their cover is beautiful. The first single is called Admer. Um, oh my god, it's so pretty. I They're so different and unique. I think this is why they're like hitting me a little bit. It's like Stray Kids. They're so different. They're so unique. They're so cool. Like, I don't know. Like Jellyfish? Okay, <laughs> cool. Um, and then they also had their, um, what was this? The Blind Package. Point, I'm not... I'm not like deep diving because I'm still trying to focus on Ordinary. Um, I didn't even realize this had dropped. What was it, February 23rd? The 23rd, I believe, yeah. I didn't even realize it had dropped because Ordinary had taken my brain over. <laughs> this first single of theirs, first of all, it's their first single, their debut. And they already have K-Town for you, Make Star with drama, fucking everything. Like they have voice call, voice call round two. Like, uh, they're gonna go hard. This is gonna go hard, y'all, <laughs> let me tell you. I don't, I, there's already too many cards for a literal debut drop like this, and there's already this many stores willing to participate with these girls. I mean, it's outstanding. Wow. Wow. Anyway, <laughs> you get the photo book, obviously. You get the photo card, which is one out of 14 at random. So there's seven members, there's two per girl, there's the um, like that like fairy tale kind of version and then there's the badassy version. That's like my my look at it <laughs> There's a CD and then you get a sleeve cover and that's basically it for the um, Normal version. I will be getting one of these and there will be an unboxing. You bet your pretty asshole there will be It'll be coming. Do not worry For the blind edition you did get a premium membership card an ID photo 
um, as well as like the normal CD. Um, and yeah, one out of seven photo cards um, that were particular to the blind package. And then 100 packages, and I think there were, there were like 30,000 pre-orders for this. So 100 packages got Polaroids, which were pretty cute. Those were gonna go for a lot, I can already see it. I can already tell. And the lenticulars, one out of seven. And then you of course get the welcome box, the sleeve cover, and the photo book. And then one out of two random posters, which are both adorable. And I think you can find both these pictures on Twitter. Like they're just, they're stunning. The colors and the, it's just, it is, it is pretty good. It's, it's good, it's good, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it's good. They're, they're good. They're doing, they're doing good. They're doing really good. Already a proud, what is it? Are we, are we calling ourselves answers now? N-S-W-E-R, have we, is that it? Did JYP call it? Let's set this up and then we'll get on ordinary because this is gonna be quick. Ordinary might take a minute. <laughs> now that we're back in binder mode, we're gonna flip to girl groups. And I think I'm just gonna plop them right in the front, call it a day. I know for sure that I did have one album that comes with one out of 14 PCs. And where'd my iPad go? iPad, come back. I'm gonna go ahead and take out some white sleeves. I watched the music video when it came out. I watched it. And I was like, what the hell is this? I was literally like, what in the flying fuck is going on? And then I like watched their dance practice and like some other time I was like, oh my god, wait, hold on. <laughs> oh, oh, is that what, like, is that how we say it? Yeah. Yeah, sure. It it was a grower. Oh my god. It was a grower. And that's fine. It it at first I was like, what the hell? But no, it was such a grower on me. And tank is so cool. Like what? Who thought of that? I'm literally not even labeling anything right now for InMix because I have yet to receive anything and I also have yet to know like any certain pools that I'm getting besides my pre-order benefit claims. And those aren't even guaranteed 100%, I think. So this is just an InMix page. <laughs> this is what we have for now. Um, and all I'm getting is photo cards. So I only need a page. I think I only need a page for now. And that's fine. I'm okay with that. One page per comeback. Yeah. I'm going to put this binder back now that it is ready for and mix at my. So exciting. Ordinary has been up and coming for a bit now. We actually went a few months without dropping anything. No, it had only been, what, two months? Woo, thanks kids. Now, we know that they're lyrical geniuses. We know that they're, their mental wavelength is like up here and <laughs> we're down here. Like, whatever they're thinking is so extra. We have, Three versions of this album the skinning version the mask off and a limited version we also thanks to republic records have a u.s version of all three um the limited version in the u.s is just like a hyped up standard so in the u.s version you will not get, even though it is still the Frankenstein version in the US, you will not be getting these things. Even if you pre-ordered it through their website, their new US website, through Target, through the Sub K, 
website because there is a US version on the Sub K website. If you do look, there is a US version and a Korea version. Make sure you're paying attention. You will not be getting the pre-order limited version stuff. This is a Korean only, like K store only limited kind of thing. So yes, there are basically six different versions of this album, I guess you could say. There's the US scanning, the US mask off, the US limited, or the US Frankenstein, we don't call it a limited, it's the US Frankenstein. And then the Korean scanning, the Korean mask off, and the Korean limited, which is an actual limited. The trade-off is if you buy from the Kids New US website, you do get a signed postcard, a real physically hand-signed postcard. So you know that went that went hard. So your best bet is to get three copies from a US website and three copies from a K store. To have everything in your hands, I feel like that's your best bet. At least that's what I think. The title track is Maniac, and it was written by Three Racha and composed and arranged by Versa Choi. If you don't know, Versa Choi arranged some of the most quality, most quality songs that Stray Kids has released. So. Seeing Versa Choi and Trippy in here, ooh, so good. With that being said, knowing that these songs are gonna be absolutely amazing. Is this the long boy? Haha. -ha. So for the standards, and I believe the standards are the same for the US and the Korean, but who knows at this point, they can throw curveballs. We have the photo book, the package box, and the CDR, the lyric paper. So you're gonna get two out of 24 photo cards. That means there's three for each kid. That means I need at least three pages in my binder already, thanks. We're getting an ID card, one out of eight, and a mini poster, one out of eight. Of course, we get one kind of sticker. And then for the pre-order, we get trading unit photo cards. So you get a random four out of 24. I don't know how they're gonna divvy it up, but it's probably gonna be Hyung line and Magne line again. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck out there. Good luck, Charlie. And then you get the folded, the folded poster, the scanning version and the mask off version. And then the only difference between this and the limited is you do get a character art book, the pop-up invitation card, kind of like the No Easy. I have tape on mine just to have it sit, but it's the No Easy pop-up cards with the message in the side. But I'm assuming because it's the same, about the same size. And then you also get trading unit photo cards, the same kind of thing, four out of 24, and then a folded poster. So with that being said, here is a temporary template <laughs> for the three different versions of cards that we're gonna get. The ID photo cards, the three different kinds of unit trading cards, and the mini posters. Shall we begin? Okay, while I'm doing that, I'm going to be answering these questions <laughs> to get to know the K-pop stan. Um, as I'm putting these things in the in their proper place. So I'm gonna move this out of the way. And we're gonna flip all the way to the back. All right. So as I'm flipping, let's start with pronouns. Um, I basically go by she, her. Um, I honestly don't. I, I really don't mind anything else. Um, doesn't really bother me. 
whatever you feel comfortable with at this point. You know what? Feel free to call me whatever you want. Call me whatever you want, dude. Not a problem. All right, so I'm gonna need three of these. All right, the second question is sexuality. Ugh. Does anyone really know <laughs> sexuality? Um, I would say truthfully pansexual question mark. There's no way in hell I'm straight. There can't be. It just doesn't work like that. <laughs> Write down ominary. Set one. All right, three, gender identity. I am a female. Why did I set this off to the side as if I'm, oh, I'm not gonna. I was like, I'm not putting this in this pocket right here. <laughs> oh my God. I tend to shy away from these questions because I don't like any making anyone feel uncomfortable. My main purpose is to make people feel happy, I feel like. So that's why these questions are like, <gasps> for me. <laughs> um, but you know, it is what it is. I have goosebumps right now. I'm so cold, I'm sorry. I'm like a freaking animal. Um, all right. Number four is current alts. Obviously skids. Stray kids um, hit different for me as per always. Um, stray kids. And I'd say Omega X. They really, they're doing some good music right now. So Stray Kids and Omega X, should we do those two? Let's do a girl group as well. Um. The only two girl groups I really, really stand like hard or twice and, and mix at this point. So I guess those two. Um, my comfort idol. <laughs> I'm over here like bending stuff. My comfort idol is Huang Hyunjin. <laughs> he always has been and always will be. Let me refer to Or Jung Hyun. That is also a comfort idol of mine. But him and him and Hyunjin are very much comfort idols of mine. Set to Jung and Hyun. Just make me happy. And if I'm ever upset, I also have I have a non Stray Kids comfort idol, and it's anyone in One Direction. <laughs> they take me back. Um, like Niall Horan and Harry Styles. They just make me happy. And whenever I see videos of them, I'm like, oh! <laughs> Non-Korean comfort idol, yeah, One Direction. Um, the song you will never skip, Moon. Moon by Jong Hyun. Moon by Jong. That song, I need a minute. That song, just, ugh. Wow. Wow. I also decided to do the get to know the K-pop stand instead of talking about um, Ordinary, just in case anyone didn't want um, like any spoilers. Um, so I thought it'd be better to do to get them to do a get to know the K-pop stand instead of any like excessive spoilers that might slip out of my face. <laughs> oh gosh, a fave soloist. Okay. Um. That's hard because like, there's a lot of people, there's so many people that have just like either made their own songs or left bands, left groups. I don't know if I have like a favorite soloist that was like an OG soloist. You know who I have been recently liking and I don't think he really made, has made much music, but his voice is beautiful. Um, Lee Mu Jin. Um, he does uh, the Lee Mujin specialty um, on like YouTube. 
Oof, his voice is beautiful. Wow. So maybe him, I don't know. I mean, like everyone loves like IU, like, and that's like, you know, who doesn't? <laughs> I don't know. Um, if I were to pick someone who was a soloist outside, like who just kind of like took a step off the deep end of their group, Back Q and or Tamini, I don't know. Those two, <laughs> woo. SM has some great boys. <laughs> no, I've had turned off. Enjoying my picture of my favorite people. First group I stand. Hmm. <laughs> Shiny. <laughs> Shiny and EXO. <laughs> yeah. Shiny and EXO are my first group. I need to I need to keep going. What am I writing? Set three. <laughs> oh my god, I'm getting sidetracked. Yeah, shiny and exo. I can't quite remember which one was first. Who cares? Um, it just that kind of music makes me happy. Not even just happy, like it just gets me like so hyper. And most recent group you stand. Ah, and mix. That's my most recent group stand. Prior to that, Omega X. That would be my next one back, I believe. Are you openly a K-pop stan IRL? Yes, the fuck I am. I let my friends know, as if I have many. <laughs> I let them know, you know what? Listen, you can't understand what I'm saying when I'm screaming out these lyrics, that's fine. You don't need to know. I know, I know what it's saying. I know what I'm saying. That's fine. All right. So we have this. We're also gonna have ID cards. How big are they gonna be? Are they gonna be small? It might be like they did with the frame cards. Honestly. And you know what, that would be okay. So these are gonna be ID cards. Mind you, I did in fact purchase Six total, nope, seven, nope, five, four, five. I think five total full copies myself. Why did I, do you see what I just did? Am I on crack? So we will see how well I do. I will probably end up buying from Target like four or five more copies just to have like a full set, hopefully complete. Who knows? Faves aside from your alt. All right, um, obviously ATs, Shiny, XO, Monster X, uh, Mama Moo. Only one of, who else? I love, I love so many of them. They're all so good. Most memorable of the lyrics. Shigani Gina. Time passes. In Jong's song. Why does corpse flower come to my head? Skeleton flower. <laughs> you know what I mean. That long flower name. Ugh. Shigani Gina, yeah. That, that kind of sticks with me. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get that tattooed on me at some point. Just haven't gotten there yet. Um, what else? A lot of lyrics from like Levanter and I Am You, like the chorus, the whole chorus of I Am You kind of like resonates in my brain. Hearing Felix say it's all good now in Levanter usually like resets my brain, so. <laughs> There's a few, there's a few. Um, do you stand any rookie groups? I stand them when they were rookie, completely rookie prior to debut. <laughs> so yeah, I don't have any current, like non fully debuted groups. Have you been to a concert? The most unfortunate thing in my life is that I have not been to a K-pop concert quite yet. The most fortunate thing in my life is that I've been to multiple, 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 multiple other kinds of concerts. 
probably nearing three numbers. <laughs> like, I, concerts are my life, music is my life. So, I just, yeah, I, I've been to so many. I've been to One Direction like three times. I've been to honestly every country artist you can think of. I grew up in the middle of nowhere, I'm sorry. Um, I think my first concert was the Cheetah Girls. <laughs> oh no. Um, I've seen Hoodie Allen, Justin Bieber. Um, like Kanye, I, I like a kind of like a mix of everyone at this point, One Republic. Um, some like random rock bands here and there. I, I really, I really don't mind if you say, hey, you want to come to a concert with me? You don't even have to ask. Like, hand me the ticket. Put, put me in the car. Let's go. Like, we're, we're already there. Why are you asking me? I'm hoping these two pockets fit these mini posters that apparently we're going to have. These pages are going to be for the mini posters. Cool. Mini posters? Cool. All right. I think that is everything for like the normal stuff. Take this all back. Oh, okay. Oh. My Stray Kids non-album. And remembering how many photo cards I have bought or slash claimed. Let me make sure I have a solid number of what I'm doing. So I have Aladdin. Which you guys can see this with me. I have Aladdin, which is two. I have Inter Park, which is two. You can have I did four. Nope, I did six. Oh my God, look at this. I think these are all the claims that I did. I, I could be wrong, but you know what? Let's just say that that's it. Let's just say that that's it and hope that it is. And if it's not, we can add more, right? Right, cool. Do you have any piercings? Haha, <laughs> I have a ton. I have like my normal, like first hole pierced. I have both sides of my cartilage pierced and I have a helix on one side, which is like kind of mid. Like, it's just down where like the thicker part of your cartilage is on your um, ear. It's kind of like where the one part of your industrial would hit um, on like the bottom part, like where the bottom bar would hit. That's where I have it. Okay, I I need to math real quick. Okay, I can't tie, divide 20 by 9. Can I divide? I'm gonna need at least five pages. I know that for sure. We like that. We love to see it. And you know what? I'm gonna make it a goal of mine to probably collect all of these because I'm crazy like that. So let's, at least I know I have these coming in. So that's good. And I did claim Hyunjin and Minnow for everything. Fave and least fave album while I get these going. My favorite album so far. Um, so can I do like favorite albums for my ults? Because I, am I supposed to pick a favorite whole fucking album like out of everything? Um, oh god, I, I don't know. I'm not gonna lie, No Easy was really good. 
No easy hit different. No easy definitely took the show as per usual. The boys just know what they're doing. Um, least favorite, do I have a least favorite album for them? I really don't, I guess. Okay, I'll be honest. I'll be, I'll be honest. I, uh, I guess my least favorite would be I Am Not. I am who? I don't know. Because I love, I love Monroe. I love, I love I am you. It's not like I don't like them. I love all their revamped songs. I think Sky's 2021 probably hits different the most. <laughs> Epilogue was really good. They keep like, I swear, like the, my ults keep upping their game. I don't think I have a least favorite in them as well. I really don't. I just, I can't. Let's see, do you collect albums or photo cards? Um, <clears throat> No, I don't collect either of those things. I'm so fucking broke. God, favorite girl group. Ugh, you're gonna make me choose that kind of shit right now? You're gonna make me choose that kind of shit right now? Twice. Your boy group? <laughs> JYP makes the best people. Sorry. Sorry. Have you watched any survival shows? Yes. Yes, I have. <laughs> Too many, too many to count. I am that person. Um, do you know any K-pop dances? Yes, I do. And, and I don't dance, but I do. I just, you just know them. You watch the video. When you're streaming, you just know them. By the end of streaming, if you don't know them, there's a problem. You messed up. My MBTI, um, what am I, an E? Oh God, I was like an EN something. Hold on, I have it. I never remember. I'm an ENFP. I almost said euthanism. <laughs> Enthusiasm. Idol you would be besties with? Jisung. Jisung. Han Jisung from Stray Kids. No ifs, ands, or buts. Han Jisung from Stray Kids. Or Chang Bin. Uh, three Racha as a whole? Is that is that okay? Can I do that? They seem so sweet. And genuinely like... I... Please. Please? Anyway. Are we done? <laughs> Um, what made me a stan? Like a stan with who? Is it, tell me anything else. What made me a stan? Um, I've always been into music. I've always been this person. I'm sorry. <laughs> Idol that first caught my eye. Um, who first caught my eye? Um, I think it was... I think it was Jong Hyun's voice, probably. Um, hearing Jong Hyun and Onu. Um, in oh, what song was it? I don't remember. And like that, what that's what got me into K-pop, I believe. Idol, you're most similar to. I honestly would probably say. I feel like it's Han. I feel like it's either like Han or Lino. I can't tell. A mix of both. Maybe it's neither. Or I'll never know. What would you say to your alt? Um, thank you. <laughs> I gave you all my money and thank you. <laughs> Please be my friend. <laughs> Song or era you relate to, I am you. 
group you want to come back? Straight kids, can we do it a little quicker? <laughs> um, XO. XO. Because Shiny already did 13th year, thank God. So XO. XO. And we need all our members back from the military first, please. And then XO. <laughs> um, drop an unpopular K-pop opinion. I can't do that right now. That's mean. Um, fine. Girl groups can get really pitchy sometimes and it's kind of annoying. That's why I don't stand them. But there's something different about Twice and and Mix and Mama Moo that have my heart. Yeah. Is that a good unpopular opinion? Is that okay? I'm sitting here like fiddling with my fingers because I'm done with this. We did Ordinary, thank goodness. We did Admar. Ah, so exciting. All right, that means I'm mentally ready for the kids come back. This is pre-order benefits. And this should all be, yep, all of this right here is going to be for oh, right here. This is all gonna be for ordinary. Nice. One little page for Nmix right in here. Awesome. Now that I have to edit this down like crazy, um, I hope that was slightly more enjoyable than that it could have been. Yeah, I didn't want to, I didn't want to sit here and talk about Ordinary and ruin anything possibly for anyone. So I thought doing, doing the Get to know the K-pop stand would be a little bit better. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed getting these next two comebacks ready with me. And hopefully, hopefully Ordinary goes great. And Mix is already going great. So I will see you as soon as I get Admar in, which be soon. I'm so excited. And then soon I'll have Ordinary to unbox and we're going to be shitting bricks together. All right. See you then. Bye.